in response to prolonged fasting and starvation certain proteins present in an organism's liver are degraded to amino acids they are non essential amino acids undergo transamination or deamination to form ammonia or nh3 the ammonia is converted to urea the urea then goes to the kidney via blood stream from the kidney the urea is excreted out with urine in the liver the amino acids are converted to intermediates of the tca cycle these intermediates are oxaloacetate and citrate the oxaloacetate in presence of a gluconeogenic enzyme PEPCK or phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase is converted to phosphoenol pyruvate it is the first step in gluconeogenesis then the phosphoenol pyruvate goes through some further steps of gluconeogenesis to produce glucose 6 phosphate the glucose 6 phosphate in presence of g6ph or glucose 6 phosphatase is converted to glucose and inorganic phosphate the glucose then goes to the brain via blood stream the adipose tissue imports its fatty acid to the liver the fatty acids then undergo oxidation to produce acetyl coenzyme a but as oxaloacetate is degraded by the use of tca cycle intermediates for gluconeogenesis its concentration decreases due to the lack of oxaloacetate the entry of acetyl coenzyme a to the tca cycle is prevented as a result the concentration of acetyl coenzyme a in the liver increases due to the increased level of acetyl coenzyme a the acetyl coenzyme a itself is converted into acetoacetyl coenzyme a the acetoacetyl coenzyme a is then converted into ketone bodies these ketone bodies then go to the brain heart skeletal muscle via blood stream these organs use ketone bodies as fuel instead of glucose please like subscribe and share